Well, hello and good morning. This is Sandy at Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. What are you doing this morning? I am doing artwork today. I'm going to take you into my art studio and I'm putting together a sun catcher infused glass that I did. And I'm, and I'm going to use glass beads with it. I'm going to hang it, I think, at my window. Not that you couldn't hang it outside, but sometimes Wyoming winds are very, very powerful. So we're in my art studio. Uh, I set it up on the table. There's my glass beads. I actually got those from Hobby Lobby, though I can't find them at Hobby Lobby anymore. I have to look online. Now, my fused glass is about seven inches across. It's kind of hard to tell in the picture. And my top wire that I used is a 20 gauge. It is a little heavier because it's holding the whole piece. And then in between here, I'm using a 24 gauge wire. You could put three beads in between. I usually do about five, seven, ten, depending on the size of the bead and what the effect I want to do. Now, because I t went through that little loop and twisted it, I have to make sure the beads are big enough to go through both wires right now because I bent it over and twisted it. When it gets down a little bit farther, I can use smaller beads, but at first I have to have the bigger ones just so that it goes on both of them. See, and I, I'm just deciding. Sometimes I'll get the whole thing done and I'll take it apart because I've decided I don't like it. You have to orient which way up because on the next two glass pieces, I have wires on both the top and the bottom. I usually don't decide until it's out of the kiln because fuse glass is cut, then you fire it. You can do a full fuse, um, then you slump it. Now, I have to tell you, I cheated a little bit on this one. Instead of doing the two firings, I just did one and I put different sizes of fiber paper underneath of it. And then I did a fire polish. And it bent the glass the way I like it. And I didn't have to use the energy to fire twice. I'm just having fun. I am just playing. Now this is my last piece and you can see that it only has one loop because it doesn't need a loop on the bottom unless I was going to add some beads to the bottom but uh, that was, just wasn't an option that I decided to do. And once again you send it through the loop and then you're going to twist it around three or four times. It won't come out because the beads are surrounding it. And then you start putting beads on. I think up in between each of these, there is about seven to 10 beads on each section. But that's just per personal preference. I'm not really liking that. I think I'm going to take that bead off, twist it one more time. It kind of bunched up and I didn't really like that. And so do I do patterns? Usually. I, I always tell myself I'm not going to do a pattern and then I start putting the beads on and then I do do a pattern. I don't know yet. Maybe it's just my brain likes the way it looks better. It's not right or wrong. You don't have to do a pattern. Then we're hooking that very last one on. And just remember when you're going around probably six, seven, eight times, depending on the size of the wire and um, the extra that you have, you just want it to be secure. Then I'm going to just take some of Joe's nippers and I'm going to nip those and then bend that wire into itself because I don't want to get poked or somebody to touch it and they get scratched from the wire. And I usually just wait to trim those all at the same time. And then bend in that wire in there again. And it's a lovely sun catcher. I'm totally in love with it. So here it is. It is beautiful. Let's look at that close up. Actually, when I used this piece of glass, it was orange, but when it fired, it did a reaction to the heat and it turned red, but I love it. But aren't they just so, so beautiful? So now I have a red one in my room, a blue one by the table, and I think I'll put this one over at the window. 
it's a great way to use glass and glass beads. I am happy, happy, happy. This is probably my favorite one so far. This is Sandy at Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. If you've come over because you used to watch my glass um, channel, Fuse Glass Artwork and More, welcome. I'll see you next time. Well, I tried putting it in my living room window and I just didn't care for it. So I put it in our bedroom window. So when I look out the window, you can see the birch trees behind it. And I think it will just be spectacular there. I'm beyond happy, actually. Seriously, can you tell? But I love the different glass beads. I love the dichroic. Those, that's the shiny part in my fused glass piece. It's called dichroic. I hope you have a fabulous day. Love your life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.